Welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at the Dovo and Bosch three-plane lasers and see how they compare to one another. Dovo reached out and asked if I'd be interested in reviewing one of their three-plane lasers. And since I'm always interested in tools, and since I already had another three-plane laser, I thought it would be a good opportunity to do a comparison between the two. So today we'll be looking at the Dovo H3-360G and the Bosch GLL3-300. The Dovo runs about $280 and the Bosch runs about $360 on Amazon, but they are both three-plane lasers and both do essentially the same thing. So we're gonna take a look. The first and most obvious difference, despite both having virtually the exact same equipment, is that the Dovo is both smaller and uh, lighter than the Bosch. As for the laser itself, the lasers are very similar in size. The Dovo is a green laser um, that has one horizontal and two vertical axes that you can control. As I mentioned, it's a little bit lighter uh, than the Bosch. It's possible that that speaks to the durability, but at the end of the day, it's a laser. And if you drop it, you know, five feet onto concrete, you can expect some damage. But you can see here that the Dovo and the Bosch are virtually um, identical in terms of the laser body itself. Both lasers claim to cover about 200 feet. As I mentioned, the Dovo is a green line and the Bosch is a red line. Sometimes the red line's a little bit easier to see in daylight just because the green line, in my experience, can get masked by the green tint of uh, especially pressure-treated lumber, but even regular lumber sometimes has, has a slightly green tint and that, that green line can get a little bit lost, but that's really more in uh, high sunlight or high light conditions. In lower light conditions, uh, I did not see a big difference between the two in terms of the visibility of the laser. I bought the Bosch about a year ago for a specific issue that I needed it for, um, but since then, I've only pulled it out two or three times, mostly because I can usually do what I need to do with a you know, regular four foot level or a string line or some other method, but lasers sometimes are just the best way to do things. Here we can see that the Bosch laser has uh, four AA batteries, and while I have not used it enough to exhaust the batteries, I don't know exactly how long they last, but it does mean you'll have to have extra AA's on hand to make sure that it's always ready to go. This is the stand that comes with the Dovo, and so you can set the laser body on this to hang it from a stud or to put it on a table or to hang it from a I-beam, a metal I-beam. Here you can see there's an adjustable platform so that once you get it kind of basically where you want, you have some additional settings to go. Here, this is basically for clipping onto like the flange of an I-beam or something like that. Um, so that, that's kind of nice. Uh, if you flip the back off, you have magnets to be able to connect to metal studs or metal beam. I kind of like this on this one because you don't have to take it apart. Like it's just one piece that you can clip. Uh, it is a little bit lighter uh, and a little bit less stable than the Bosch stand, which is here. You can see it's just a little bit meatier. Uh, it's easily twice or maybe three times the weight of the other stand, um, but it's obviously uh, more durable. The locking mechanism for the, the travel going up and down is a bit more secure, um, obviously engineered just a little bit better, which speaks to the higher cost of the tool. But basically it has all of the same thing. So you can slide it up and down uh, for granularity. It also has the mechanism for clipping to an I-beam. But in order to take advantage of the magnets, you have to take this other piece off uh, entirely. And so there are the magnets there um, so that you can connect it to a metal stud or, or an I-beam. That's a little inconvenient in my opinion because now I have to keep track of that other piece and I've got to put it back on. It's not a big deal, but it's definitely a consideration if you're thinking about the usability of the tool. The nice thing about the Bosch stand, which the Dovo stand doesn't have, are these legs that you can uh, flange out so that it has more of a tripod stand when you're just putting it on a table or something like that so it's a little bit more stable. You know it's a nice extra feature and it certainly might come in handy but again at the end of the day the laser is self-leveling so as long as it's not on something that's completely teetering uh, it should be fine uh, either way. This is actually the part I was most excited about with the, Do the Dovo tool 
which is that it has uh, a rechargeable battery that comes with it. It actually comes with two rechargeable batteries and the charger, which means you don't have to worry about running out of power because you can always have a second one charged. And the charger for this is a USB-C, which means, yeah, I can also charge my phone uh, when I'm not trying to charge a laser battery. So just another little benefit. Uh, this was something I actually looked for when I bought the Bosch, but there wasn't a rechargeable version of the tool I needed available. The Bosch also comes with this nice little soft carrying case if you just want to put the laser in that. You know, it's just kind of an insignificant little thing, just an extra detail. So I've set both of the lasers up in basically the same location, and we can take a look at the laser lines. As I mentioned, the green and the red are virtually identical from a visibility perspective in lower light conditions. Here I'm in the basement of the house that we're building, and we have the subfloor completed, so there's really no sunlight down here, so we have a pretty good uh, visibility of the lasers. Um, here we're looking at the laser about 12 feet from the laser body itself, and it's pretty crisp uh, and clean. Both of them are about the same width, um, and again, about the same visibility. If we move down, this laser on this wall is now projecting about 20, 25 feet. And we can see that the lasers are just starting to get a little fuzzy uh, than they were at like the 12 foot mark. And then this is about 50 feet away. And this is on a, a, a vertical flat wall. And you can see that the, the line itself is just starting to get fatter and fatter. So while they claim this will go 200 feet, depending on the level of granularity you need or the accuracy you need in the measurement, I'm not certain that that's going to be terribly beneficial. But at, at 50 feet, uh, I don't see any concerns with them at all. Uh, you can see up here uh, the two different directions of the vertical lasers and again uh, have no trouble seeing uh, the visibility of these lasers in lower light conditions. Even in the higher light conditions, what I've d decided or what I've learned is that um, if you get out there in the earlier morning or in the later afternoon, once the you know sun isn't shining, shining directly on your projects, uh, that the visibility of the lasers is uh, enough such that you can do what you need to do. But if you're working at you know 11 a.m. or noon or something where the, the sun is high and, and directly shining on, on whatever you're trying to get a laser reading from, it's going to be more difficult. And I think that's true with just any laser tool that you use. So just to recap, the Dovo is a little lighter, a little smaller than the Bosch. The fact that it has rechargeable batteries is a really big deal for me because I just know it'll always be ready to use. And for the savings of about $80, uh, it seems that if I were making the choice in the store, I would probably choose the Dovo and be pretty satisfied with the purchase. But tool purchases are personal, so definitely pick what's right for you. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more like this, just let me know.